Welcome back to RimWorld. Last episode, we built plumbing. We got our foundations in place that will allow us to move on to other tasks such as the arena. So, we've got our bathrooms built and I've assigned those to specific people. Here is Aaron's bathroom. We have Everqueen's bathroom and Diz Waltney's sort of start the bathroom. Jerry King doesn't have one yet because he's off doing um, other shit, I assume. What's he doing right now? Um, oh, he's actually finishing off his own bathroom. Good for you. So, that being said, what's next? Well, I've sort of come up with a plan. Brace yourself for this. There it is. This is the plan. I'm going to explain it. I'm going to convert this building, our original building, once we're in a position where we can convert it. We're going to convert this into uh, guest lobbies. People who want to see people fight and die in the arena will build a guest entrance over here as well so they can go in and view that. We'll have, you know, trading spots for guests, basically. Other people that want to come and visit us and our incredible society, our arena, they will be able to come down through this building here, and this will be for them. We'll also expand the prison out a little bit. Following down here will be... The, the, the corridor into the potential fighter's bay. So anybody we recruit will have to live here until they have passed through the arena. But we'll talk about that in a second. So this will be their bedroom, their living quarters, their kitchen, their, their barracks, if you will. Where they're going to live before they have been promoted to full-time resident of our remote colony. Down here, we'll have a doctor's for those who don't necessarily win, but don't get immediately killed. You know, people who have earned some honor, but not enough to obviously win and pass through. But those who, who could potentially redeem themselves in the arena, we get to go to the doctors, get themselves healed up. And here we'll have a crematorium for burning the bodies of those deceased, which there will be obviously a lot of. This will be our blood works. Now this is going to be the arena itself. As I said, we'll have a, we'll have a sort of entrance. Uh, let's go ahead and find the midpoint and actually build ourselves an entrance here. So what is that? That is 40. So we're looking at 20 and 20. So this is where our main entrance is going to be. If I've done that right, it should be 19 each side. Yeah, okay. So that's going to be our main entrance for guests. People like that to come and visit us, to come and... Uh, you know, see the arena in action, see what it's all about. Now in here, we'll obviously build statues of our our competitors, our pretenders, the people that we want to uh, be recognized for their glory. And then for those that win, they will be promoted. They'll be able to go down the Hall of Champions, name pending, down the south here, all the way through the arena. It's going to be a hell of a long walk, and they will get themselves an area of paradise. And this is what's going to be paradise. We're going to cut this area off here. We're going to block this off. If we have to dig false trenches, big, massive, you know, walls just to keep them out, we'll do that. And uh, we, we haven't actually got to take too much land. So if you see, we'll sort of build a big wall uh, from here to probably about there, to be honest with you. Same thing here. We'll build a big wall from here to here and block that bit off. And again, same from like here to here, roughly. And we'll sort of keep all of this cordoned off so that people can't get through. This will be blocked off. And this will be our paradise. This is where we'll build our buildings. It's where people will live their lives once they've progressed through the arena. And this will be our new kingdom, I think. And that'll be, that'll be kind of nice. We've got a big trading spot for ships to come and trade with us. We'll have... You know, big halls, big research labs will have ways of training, things like that. Again, the arena will be grand. I might even build it up bigger than this. We've got a little bit of space to expand into, but this is going to take a very long time to do what we need to do. But we can start working it now. That's the best part because Jerry King is free. He's finished the groundwork. You know, we've got food. We have water. We need some defenses before I'm fully willing to commit to the expansion. But let's go ahead and sort that out now. Then that can be this episode and the sort of next few episodes. Making it so that we're in a good position, whereas if we're attacked, we don't need to worry about it too much. We can focus on the important things like the arena. All right, Jerry King, what is he going to do? Well, let's let the man finish his bathroom. He does need um, sort of a nice bathroom for himself, I think, and he's going to go ahead and interrupt his Waltney there as well. He's apparently a heavy sleeper and doesn't really care that much. That should be it. Holy shit, look at that. And is that all plumbed in as well? Um, yep, that is plumbed in. We've got fresh water. I want to actually watch them use the bathroom, which is creepy, but... I want to make sure it actually works, given the amount of ridiculous, you know, effort that we went to to try and get that to work. And look, there he is. Diz Walton, he's starting his day off right with a shower. What's wrong with him? He's not happy about it still. Cold water. Ah, just when I thought I'd won. Okay, hygiene. Let's take a look then. Do we need a gas boiler? Um, yeah, it requires chem fuel. Can we not just get an electric boiler? Um, there's like a... Stores hot running water for showers and baths. Can't to any boiler to heat. Okay, so what we need then is a hot water tank... Uh, we'll build a few of these in the storage room, and then we'll pipe them over through the plumbing into the actual shower themselves. We obviously don't need one there, because that will connect through the shower. Actually, seeing as we're running all the hot water through this water shower, that doesn't seem like the best idea. We'll do it like that, and then what sort of boiler can we actually get to, to heat water? Then? Electric boiler, okay, that's fine. Manually control power setting can be controlled by thermostats. Excellent, excellent. Okay, we'll get a couple of those on the, uh, on the same line here. Those can heat those up. That should give us some, uh, some nice hot water. I never thought about hot water, to be honest with you. Jerry King, you know what? He's going to be cooking meals. We're on low food, but he's almost finished his uh, his cooking bill there. 
Cook four simple meals. You just need to cook a couple more here and there. But it is going to start on the hot water now. Thank you, Jerry King. I appreciate that. This one, he just planted himself a nice plant. Did you see that in his in his house there? Let's get these bricks out of the building. Um, who's good at that? I think the Ever Queen can do that. She's actually getting that dead, rotting tortoise out of our fridge. I appreciate that. And our coolers, are they keeping it cool? Not quite. Not by itself. We need, um... Is it one component we need to repair things? I think it is, isn't it? Jerry King, can you repair that for me? Prioritize is replacing components. Yeah, let's get him doing that first, because that's sort of important. Somebody has gut worms. Oh, God, it's Jerry King. What did gut worms do, then? Let's take a look. Uh, health. He has bad hygiene, moderate. Well, we can go give him a shower in a minute. Gut worms. Pain plus 20%. Holy shit, that's really bad. And plus 100% hunger. So he's going to eat twice as much. And he's going to be really uncomfortable because, obviously, he has gut worms. Okay, prioritize tending to yourself, my good friend, Jerry King. Let's get yourself back up to a decent uh, state of health. Okay, not too bad. Those generally take a very, very long time to get rid of, unfortunately. So, why do you use Diswontly shower? Uh, hang on. Uh, Diswontly. There we go. Sorry, my mistake. I forgot to actually assign him uh, Jerry Castaway. There we go. And that should be Jerry's as well. Nice. That's good. He's going to get himself a nice night's sleep. When he... Oh, well, God, that was not good. Oh, that's really not good. When he's done with that, hopefully we'll get some hot water. First things first. I think we need to put out this fire. Um... How are the fans doing? They're right blocked by bamboo tree. That's fine. That's fine. Fucking bamboo trees. So one of you said um, that they're going to be blocked by sort of like rocks and plants. Apparently they've just changed so it's just trees and big objects. Like structures and mountains. Things like that. So I am however going to do exactly what you suggested. And just pave over it. Just to stop bamboo trees growing in front of it again. Uh, can I pick all three? No. I'd like to be able to see where we actually have to build it. But I can just sort of eyeball it here. Um, we'll do that. I think that's... Yeah that should be right. And then we'll go ahead and do that as well. That should stop that from happening again. Are you guys actually going to come put out the fire? No, no, no. You need to prioritize extinguishing the fire. Everqueen's on that as well. Diswant is on that as well. Oh my god, please hurry up. Everything's made of wood. Maybe this is something we should be focusing on before building up the arena. Is actually uh, preventing the base from... Oh god, Diswant is on fire. Is he alright? Health? He just got a slight burn. He's not actually on fire. He just got a little bit of burn on his leg. Maybe he stepped in the fire. So did Elrang, actually. Heat stroke initial. Oh god. This room's 200 degrees. Um... Maybe let's hold the door open. This is why we need vents as well. Oh, shit. Uh, the whole base is going to be so incredibly hot. Look at this. Okay. Hold this open as well. Temperature is something I'm really not good at managing. I will admit, that's one of my weaker points here in RimWorld. Oh, we do have vents. Oh, shit. We have vents, but they're not venting out into anything. Because, obviously, we've built the roofs back over. It turned them into bathrooms now. So, what would be better to do, I think, is instead vent out into the corridor and build a master vent up there. So, that will vent out into the outside world. That would be not a bad plan. Uh, so we go ahead and deconstruct these then and replace them with uh, wood instead. Arang, you're sleeping in a room that is literally 181 degrees, you friggin' madman. This Waltney, that room is 30 degrees, so why are these doors not holding open though? Uh, can we talk about that? Um, hold open. Thank you, okay, there we go. Right, that's going to start venting some heat out um, into the various rooms. Yeah, the overall temperature is dropping, but again, if we could get... Uh, do you want to hold that one open? Because that one doesn't really need to be shut. The doors are just there basically to mark separate rooms. We don't necessarily need those shutting. Right, that's held open. Let's get that one held open as well. Go and open the double doors. There we go. Nice. We should be venting out heat from this giant room that's been on fire. Obviously, this ridiculous amount of heat over here. That's going to be venting down here, out here, and out into the outdoors. Nice. There we go. It's still a little bit warm, but he should be okay now. All right. Who doesn't want a line of room that's 48 degrees to get over your burn injury? Everqueen there. Going to tend to them. Try and get them back up to a decent amount of health. Whoa, that was some excitement. I like that. Jerry King. He's uh, just repaired it. He's going to feed the uh, the people who are led in bed. That's nice of him. Good work, Jerry King. Your favorite neighborhood nurse. The absolute unit that is Jerry King. Going to uninstall the vents there. Just so, again, we can rebuild them out here. So that that would make more sense, in my opinion, anyway. That we're venting it outside. Rather than um, from the bathroom into the bedroom. Which isn't really going to do a huge amount for us. All right. Good work, Jerry King. Now, do we want to actually prioritize him? What's he doing? What's he working on first? Oh, he's actually going to finish the vents first. Again, I think we prefer some hot water. But that's okay. I mean, I'll probably start working on that immediately afterwards, right? Finish the vent. I do want to keep an iron in here. Just make sure everything's built so that I don't have to remember to do this again in the future. And because we're in permanent summer, again, we don't need to worry about those front door being left open. So, you know, it's always going to be a nice temperature. Maybe when we get a heat stroke, that's when we want to shut this, close the vents so that the, the cold air is trapped in. That's when we want to probably start working on vents, things like that as well. What's he building right now? Oh, shit, he's going to pave all this ground first. All right, you know what? Carry on. That's okay. That's, that's completely acceptable. Right, nearly 4 a.m. Everyone's awake and ready to work. Good work, team. How are we doing in terms of paving off the areas here so that our windmills work a little bit more effectively? Um, it's not going well at all, to be honest with you. Let's mark that bamboo tree to be cut down just so that when Jerry King finally goes to bed now that it's daytime, we don't have to worry about that producing, you know, less power than it should be. Is he going to build that before he goes to sleep? Jerry King, what are you doing? 
Um, consuming simple meat. Oh, he's picking up some wood on his way back. That's nice. It's one of the mods that actually makes them, you know, multitask. So if they're on the way back to the house, they will, um, you know, like you just saw there, he'll drop things off. He'll go and get himself a meal, that type of thing. Nice. We've got loads of crops being delivered there. Holy shit. Must be time for harvest. Evergreen there. Actually putting some work in. Getting everything built up. That's nice to see. Man, we've got maybe way too much food. I'm glad I cut down those uh, building areas, or those growing areas, I should say, in hindsight. Now, how's Diz want his growing going? Because when, well, <laughs> how's the growing going, Diz? Because um, when you're done with that, my friend, we might want you to plant some actual, um, more important crops. You know, like, um, like Devil Strand that I was talking about. The fiber that would allow us to build decent clothes, things like that. Let's take a look. Um, he is growing, Diz Waltney. He's up to eight. That's not bad. What's hell running up to? Up to eight as well. Hey, he's almost our best grower now. Practice does make perfect when it comes to uh, Diz Waltney there. Now, we don't want to grow so much that we're inundated with food because it will just be basically a waste. You know, a waste of um, not necessarily, you know, space. But there are better things for Diz Waltney to be doing. So it's a waste of his time if we were already so ridiculously stacked out of food. Did that dog just eat a potato? Prince, oh, well, what's this? Come on. Now, one of you suggested we're having problems with, with, um, with hauling. Which is true. We've got a lot of shit that needs hauling. You know, all that steel over here by the mine. We've got so many, you know, crops that need hauling. Things that need hauling to places. So steel over to, you know, this as well. What we can do is we can actually train Prince Owen Watts to carry things around. So how do we do that? So this one, isn't it? Haul. Yeah, we want him to haul. So we've got to train him in obedience first. But who have we got? Elrang should do that, right? Um, let's take a look. Train. Elrang's going to do that. We'll have the other queen give it a go as well, because her skill with animals isn't that bad. She's 7 out of 20, and Aorang is 10 out of 20, so she's not much worse than Aorang is at it, to be honest with you. So whenever they get a chance, they're going to try and train Prince Owa what's this in hauling, and obviously they're going to try and tame that friggin' rhino as well. Is he going to do it? Don't feed the dog berries. That doesn't seem... Yeah, nice. 1 out of 3 already. We've trained him in obedience. We've got to do 2 more successes with that. 90% chance, apparently, so the other queen will probably have a decent amount of chance as well. In training uh, Prince Owo in obedience. Now, I might shut the front door here, seeing as um, it's not really necessary to keep that one open. This one's fine to have open. And uh, we'll go ahead and shut Elrang's bedroom door as well. Incapacitated refugee quest. Mal contacts you and requests help. She's wounded and unable to move. Without your help, she'll die in 14 days. She's a 35-year-old roboticist. Where is that on the map? Let's take a look here. So, we can send a caravan now to try and pick her up. She's not that far away, actually. She's in the middle of Yoshi's Joy Grove, understandable. Known threats? None. Um, what type of distance are we looking at? Um, how do we add... Is it right-click? There we go. Yeah. So it's going to take us three days to get there. Right. Um, is it worth the effort? Because she's going to have to fight the gauntlet anyway, so she might just die. Um, you know what, Mal? You're on your own. I'm going to be honest. It's three days taken away from the... From the uh, you know, from our base here, right? I don't really want to waste our time doing that because we've still got lots of important jobs left to do we've got to get ourselves up on our feet Elrang has important research to do we need a more reliable source of power that isn't you know wind dependent solar panels for example would be much much better than and then having windmills which clearly aren't very good they're okay but they're not they're not great solar panels would be much much better because that means we're getting a consistent measurable amount for 12 hours a day or so every day and i, th I think that's a, a much safer idea there we go that one's actually going to start working as intended now grid excess stored okay so we've got Excess power now. We're, we're using, we're generating, I should say, way more power than what we need. So, why don't we take a look at what we're researching and see if we can't find anything else. We've almost finished with the microelectronics. That's going to give us access to the more advanced workbenches. It's going to give us access to uh, communications beacons, things like that. So, that's definitely something we, that we need right now. I would like to start working on the prosthetics. So, the prosthetics mod, as one of you pointed out, was very, very overpowered. And I completely agree. It's broken. So, I have nerfed it a little bit. Um, at the, at the end game levels, you're not going to get like 2,000% work speed or anything like that because it's very, very broken. But it will be a nice buff to give to like Elrang or the Everqueen, you know, give them some robotic limbs so they can do things more effectively. And when you're working with a small pool of colonists like we are now, it's definitely very valuable to have those be as effective and efficient as possible. So let's take a look at what our research project next is going to be. Um, water filtration, I feel like, is a very, very good idea along with sewage treatment there. This is probably our next best plan, even though, you know, maybe we could go for those robotics. I feel like being able to treat our water so we're not going to get, you know, more gut worms like poor Jerry King has right now. Probably not a bad plan. Well, that's unfortunate. So, remember I told them to remove that latrine? Turns out that was the thing that we were pumping all the sewage through. As in, literally directly through the latrine. Because now I've dug it up, um, the water supply is disrupted because there isn't anything there. Now, that's normally fine. You know, that would just be one pipe, except we haven't got any iron. So, um, oh, there is some still there, though. We could have people deconstruct that. Have my people see your people and deconstruct that wall. We need to find 
steel that's close to the base pretty quickly, I'd say, because this is um, a little bit annoying that I have to run halfway across the map here to try and find any form of any form of steel. My god, there's really none, isn't there? Um, am I blind? Is there, is there really that little steel on this map? I mean, there's some around these caves, as we discovered before, but it's so far away that it's, it's not the best steel to go for. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to start digging out the Colosseum because we're probably going to find some steel doing this. So let's give it a go. Everqueen? This is probably what she's going to start doing now, I'd imagine, because I think she is our uh, premium miner, right? Uh, let's take a look. Everqueen, yeah, she's she's good at mining. And if she can't mine, she's going to cremate. And if she can't cremate, she's going to haul. So she's actually more or less just exclusively hauling at this point. Come on, please strike some iron. I need this more than anything else. Now, Elrang, you are going for still water treatment. I feel like once you've done water treatment, let's not worry about the sewage for a little bit. Um, after you've done that, I need you on mining as well so we can actually get things done. Jerry King took off his shirt there, and it was apparently because he was showering. I was wondering what the hell he was doing then. Could we maybe deconstruct a windmill? What do you think? I mean, now that we've got it, it seems a little bit of a waste to take it apart. Though we are going to get a little bit of steel just to tie this over here. And there is some floor as well we can uh, dig up. Let's go ahead and remove that one as well. Can't believe we're struggling for steel, of all things. One of the things you consider probably pretty frequent in, in RimWorld, we actually don't have. Relaxation time on the rim. We've got Dizwaltney there playing chess by himself. I feel like nothing has ever summed this man up more than him playing chess by himself. I love it. The other queen playing billiards there, practicing her a pool, maybe. We've got Elrang outside playing horseshoes, of all things. Go and join Dizwaltney or something, you weird man. I feel like I would like to see Elrang and Dizwaltney play chess together. That's one of my dreams. So, these things are doing okay. Now, the issue is we've got an excess of energy in the grid, so they're really... Just kind of a waste of time right now. Hence why... Okay, first things first, let's dismantle one of those tool cabinets, because those are using up a shit ton of steel and not really giving us anything. Let's dismantle a windmill as well. Because honestly, we've got so much electricity left over that it's just not necessary to, to have that much. I want to select the power conduit. Let's go ahead and dismantle these couple of power conduits as well there. Uh, again, any little bit of steel here will help, rather than having to mine into the mountain or go halfway across the map. Although with all this messing around, then we could have probably gone halfway across the map and been fine with it. You want to haul the steel, though? Thank you. Right, let's get these boilers built, my good friend Diswaltney. Diswaltney, Jerry King. There we go. We've got an electric boiler. We've got a hot water tank. Is it? Is it actually water temp? Oh, it's actually working. Wow, I thought it was going to be so much harder than that, given how much we've done with this mod so far. Nice, so we've actually got hot water then, right? Um, was there any way to check? Um, I actually have no idea. Although it's not plumbed in, technically, because of these few pipes that we're missing still. Do you need more steel, Really? We spent all of our steel on that, right? Dismantle the other tool cabinet because it's really, it's given us what, 5% quicker meal production? Doesn't seem as important as having literal hot water in our building, so let's get rid of that. Consuming simple meal. Can you wait a second though? Can you just finish that off? No, 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 no. Look, look. Prioritize constructing the plumbing. There we go. Go ahead and finish that off before you do anything else. No, no, no. Finish the plumbing. Nice. The hot water's plumbed in. We've got to finish the actual sewage outlet as well, and then we're back up on our feet. Prioritize working on that. Then, when Jerry King is done, we can get mining. Oh my god, we can actually finally start digging out the arena. It, it begins. Now, I'm going to have to be very careful digging this out, because obviously this is very, very likely to collapse and kill us dead. Because of, you know, cave things like, like I was describing with the roofs. So, we need a lot of roof supports. Where are our roof supports? Probably under structure, I'd imagine. Right. Roof supports. We're going to have to build these as we go, just so we can... Uh, I'm not interested in making it look nice right now. Just hollowing it all out, so we can at least get a feel for the actual size of it. Now, the arena itself might be... Way too large. Um, probably not the best plan in hindsight. Just won't he? What are we going to get you to do, my friend? If you can mine, go ahead and mine. If you've got really nothing left to do, my friend, go and start digging out the arena as I would expect of you. Let's get people making stones so we can start replacing the uh, the walls of her base as well. Because this is a pretty pretty much a, a state right now with all this wood. Stone cutters table. Excellent. I'm going to go ahead and place them indoors. Hmm... Do you want to do that now? They get a little bit annoyed if you have them stone cutting outside. But, I mean, it will also save us time. Uh, how do we want to do this? What, what have they been cutting right now? We've got granite blocks kicking around. Do we have granite on the map? We have sandstone. We have, what type of chunks do we have? Just sandstone and limestone, really? Um, yeah, I think that's actually all we do have. Right, so we've got to make sandstone or limestone to build the base out of I'm going to go with the limestone because I think it's a little more durable. Let's go wooden stone cutting table. It doesn't matter the quality of the stone cutting table, to be honest. You know what? I will do it in here, because they've got to drop the blocks off here anyway. So, we've got a couple of these, just so that if any colonists don't have anything to do, they can at least be cutting stone to build up the base with. Let's go like that. Limestone also looks a little bit nicer. It's sort of like the poor man's marble, in a way. We'll put some seats down as well. Jerry King, my good friend. Oh, he's asleep. God damn it, Jerry King. You're basically running this colony. I need you awake. Um, no empty spot configured to haul chunks, really. That doesn't sound right at all. Allow... 
Chunks? Why is that not allowed chunks anymore? Okay, odd. I was wondering why that was taking so long there to, um, to actually have that removed. Right, we've got septic tanks. What are septic tanks? I actually don't know. Um, this is very much an American thing. We don't have septic tanks in the UK. Sept or at least not like home septic tanks. They're just for like storing waste, right? Uh, septic tanks? Which accumulate sewage and provide moderate treatment. Okay, fair enough. Um, I kind of want that away from the base just in case it leaks or something. Because that doesn't sound like a good plan. We've got a burn pit. Well, that would be useful for the, uh, the clothes of anybody who falls in the arena. S a wooden septic tank. That sounds horrible, but I'll take it. Um, slowly clean sewage over time. Right, okay. If it reaches full capacity, then excess sewage is sent to the outlets. I feel like we need a few of these. Uh, just because I don't really want to be filling this area with shit. Especially, as I said earlier, this is going to be our paradise. So, if we get there and it's literally just a mountain of sewage, probably not the best plan. We're going to get a load of steel for this, aren't we? We're going to need absolutely shit tons. Um... Again, I feel like we should kill two beds with one stone and actually just mine this through before we do anything else. So what you guys want to do, we want to make limestone blocks. We want to make um, forever. And we'll just set it low on the list. So I have both of those making limestone blocks. We'll make that low priority. So that is under, I'm going to assume, stone cut. So we'll make that priority four. So if there's nothing else they can do... Actually, I'll have Diz Waltney do that rather than mining, if possible. I'll set that up to priority three for Diz Waltney. And then we'll set mine to priority four. So he'll actually start stone cutting whilst... You know, whilst he's got nothing else to do if he's not plowing crops or anything, or, or plowing crops, sowing crops, I suppose. And we'll have Jerry King do that as well. We should probably put that pretty high on his list. So, Jerry King, you are set to mining. I'm going to set that to actually level two. Um, now, the only downside to this, I've set it to forever. So, what instead I'll do, I'll go ahead and do it until we have X. We'll do it until we've got 2,000. Oh my god. Uh, we'll do it until we've got 200 limestone blocks. How about that? Or 210 seems that's pretty much damned close as we can get. Uh, I'll go ahead and copy that. Copy that bill. No, I was pasting the bill, you fool. Uh, do until X. Again, two. No. Nope. 2,000 too much. 200. There we go. Right. Is this the copy button? Copy the bill. And delete that one. Paste the bill. Nice. Okay. So now, if Jerry King has nothing else to do, he'll make the limestone block. Same with Diz Waltney. Hopefully, we'll be able to replace this wooden monstrosity with something a little bit less... Um, a little bit less fire conducive. A little more fireproof is probably a better way to say that. Monkey self-tamed. A monkey has become Dame. It's now known as Monkey One. Leave your name for the monkey in the comments below, like genuinely, and we will rename this monkey to something more appropriate. Whose pet monkey is it? Has he bonded with anyone, or is it just a random monkey right now? Um, yep, we have Prince Owo, the Labrador, and Monkey. Awesome. What can Monkey be trained to do? Obedience and releasing them in combat? They're worth 31 food. We won't be butchering and eating the monkey, because I think that's basically how Prion spread, right? Um... I set that one. That's good. All right. Yeah, let's name this monkey. What we want to do with these um, with these limestone blocks, the reason I built the tables actually in the stockpile is we want to actually say just drop on the floor. Because otherwise, what they'll do is they'll find the closest pile and start piling up there. So every time he finishes it, he'll move from the seat, he'll head over, he'll drop some off. And that's really annoying. So we don't want him doing that. We just want him chucking it straight on the floor to be a little bit more efficient here. So we'll say drop on the floor again. Um, we want to say pause when satisfied and we'll unpause when we've only got what? We've only got 50 lime or 30 limestone blocks left, or 39 there in that case. We will uh, we'll unpause it and carry on building blocks again. Nice. Okay, there we go. Job management is probably the most important thing in RimWorld. Um, and I don't really keep it as polished as I should. Now, what we could do to save even more time is have the Everqueen, rather than mining here, go ahead and haul limestone blocks over to us. But, you know, we've already got so many so close, it doesn't matter a huge amount. For some reason, Diz Waltney's toilet and bathroom have um, have glitched out, so we can't actually assign it to anyone. So I'm going to go ahead and get Jerry King to uninstall and reinstall his, um, his shower and bathroom, and hopefully we can get that in a little bit better. Hopefully it won't glitch out. I think it's where I assigned the toilet, and then what happened is we built the shower afterwards, and the game was like, oh, I don't know what to do now. So, we'll try it again. Uh, already working on steel toilet. There we go. Okay, let's try that again. So, on a Diz Waltney. No, we actually just can't set him a toilet. What the fuck? Um, deconstruct it, maybe? The, the, the toilet itself might be bugged? That's a little bit annoying. Okay, uh, so we're going to lose ourselves some resources there. But I don't really know why this bug is happening, to be honest with you. Okay, um, build copy. Build copy of the shower. And then build copy of the toilet. That's so annoying. Okay. Um, go ahead and start that Jerry King while he's asleep. We might as well get it done before he wakes up. You know, we'll wait for them both to be built this time before I do it early. Because I think that might have been what... Oh, God, we haven't got any steel still. Ah, okay. I'm going to have to bite the bullet and actually just send one of them off. Sod it. Okay. Um, steel. There's steel in this cave. There's steel actually all over this cave. So we go orders. Vein miner. Boom, boom. Go and grab all of this. 
Uh, that should be enough to start off. We might as well grab these components as well while we're here. Um, we'll grab this as well. Right, Jerry King is off to go and actually get some steel, although he should be in bed soon though, right? Because it's 7 o'clock. Jerry, you, you're supposed to be like having recreation time right now. I don't want him to go completely nuts. Does he still have gut worms as well? My god, this takes so long to get rid of. 82% 10 quality. It doesn't really give any indication when he's going to run out of gut worms either. I don't entirely know the mechanics behind that, I'll be completely honest with you. Again, I haven't played Rumble for quite a while, so it's getting, it's getting myself re-familiarized with everything. We need so much steel and so much wood. And I can't believe we haven't found any in the base yet. So what's the Ever Queen up to right now? She's uh, training Prince Owo. And again, he'll allow us to um, to haul things as well, so that'd be quite nice. 2 out of 7 on haul. Nice. Okay, not much longer then, and he'll actually be able to try and help us out a little bit. We're getting hauling some stone blocks or something like that, you know, just to help out the colony where, is, where he can. Aha! Got it. So I worked out what the issue is. It was that it didn't have a roof. That was it. Apparently, this one, he was such a complainer. His bathroom didn't have a roof, and he was not happy about that. You know what? In hindsight, that's understandable, but I don't know why it wouldn't be able to set us, uh, allow us to set the owner for that. Anyway, there we go. That should solve any dis related problems. And is he, is he having a nice hot shower there? Let's see. Needs. Um, squeaky clean. Impressive dining room. Disturbed sleep times through. Well, that was where, obviously, Jerry King was uh, building his stuff there. Sweaty. Awful bathroom, really. Um, I suppose we could do with getting some lights in there. You're not wrong. I suppose it is just completely pitch black in your bathroom there. Let's go ahead and sort that out. There we go. We'll put some uh, nice lights in there. We'll put some furniture in there at some stage as well. Maybe a bathtub. You know, stuff like that to try and spruce the place up. Whilst we're in the sort of... Um... God damn it. Okay, stop this. Just just stop digging out the arena. Go and freaking get some steel instead, Jerry King. For the love of God. Right, digging out compacted machinery. You know what? That's on the way, right? I'm, I'm actually just going to stop everything until we've got more steel. The, the steel is really screwing us right now. And again, it's, it's kind of annoying that we can't... Um... You know, set Jerry King to mine steel and have the Everqueen mine the thing, but uh, that's just part of Remod, you know, it's, it's all about the job management. Alright, Jerry King, he's going to get some steel. We're going to build the sewage treatment, we're going to build Diswanty's bathroom up, we're going to install some lights. It's going to look lovely. We should probably also repair this wooden dresser as well, which is apparently burnt down. Now, what's everyone's biggest complaints right now that we need to work on? And without a table, I couldn't give less of a shit. So one of you pointed out that's because they're picking up meals, taking them into their inventories and just eating, you know, as they're on the job. I hate the 8 without a table debuff. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Insulted? Who insulted her? Um... Oh, Diz openly insulted Everqueen's relationship status. What? Who's her? Oh, she's rivals with Diz, won't he? So he mocked her because she's single. Wow. What a little shit. Holy shit, Diz, won't he? I can't believe you do such a thing. So his acquaintance is with, uh, obviously, Elrang there. He's pretty good friends with him. Um... Not happy about Jerry King. They're sort of neutral to each other. Uh, the Everqueen doesn't like... Obviously, Diswonti Dis doesn't like him. Alrang really, really likes the Everchosen. Uh, plus 79 with her. But unfortunately, she does not like him at all. Minus one. That's a sad story. Maybe that's it, you know. Maybe Diswonti, you know, likes Alrang. Alrang really likes Guthrude. But she doesn't really care for either of them. So she's mocking him because she, she's single. Because he's trying to wingman Alrang. It all makes sense now. The head cannon's in place. Um, Jerry King... Because he's a night owl, doesn't really see anyone, you know? Uh, it's quite rare, apparently, that he actually speaks to people. Diz said a word about vomiting to Jerry. Look, he can't help having gut worms. That's not his fault. Well, this is not good at all. Toxic fallout. A distant chemical fire has released a plume of poison over this entire region. Any personal creature not under a roof will be sickened by the toxic dust. Oh, my God. It will last anywhere between a few days to over a season. This is one of the more annoying events in RimWorld, I'll say. Um, What the fuck are we supposed to do now? Okay, we're going to be trapped inside for what could potentially be months. Here's what we're going to do. Allowed area. We are going to call manage areas. We're going to say new area. Rename it. Toxic protection. Well, it's going to give us a good excuse to build the arena because that is obviously all in a cave. We can actually start digging that out properly. We're going to set the area, toxic protection, to all inside the base. Now, we don't want them going outside the base at all. So, I'm going to go ahead and just cut off the... Uh, we're going to disallow... Hang on. No. Clear allowed areas. Toxic protection. We're going to remove the front door. So they actually can't leave the building there. Um, what I'll do, though, is I will allow them to go along the path that we want to dig out for the arena. So that's what they're going to do whilst the, um, you know, whilst everything has gone tits up outside. So they don't have to leave the house, but they do have something that they can still be productive with, you know. Um, the downside is the food is going to die because obviously it's toxic outside. So if those guys are, you know, trying to tend to the food... They're going to get toxic, but obviously the, the plants themselves will die. So why don't we stop Elrang working on the sewage sludge, and instead we'll say, you need to work on hydroponics pretty damn quickly. Where is hydroponics? Can anybody see it with their eyes? Um, here it is. Right, that's actually not too bad. It's only 700 research. 
that's going to be our rank's main job. We're going to hook the hydroponics up to the grid. And hopefully we can grow some food throughout this toxic fallout. I can't believe it. Right, we need to restrict everybody then. Animals, get into toxic protection. We need our colonists actually restricted to toxic protection as well. Damn it. Okay. Um. Wow. Sorry. Relations with the black thicket people have changed from minus 20 to minus 30 because they degrade over time. And the communal competency of Quaberon. That's something new because beforehand you used to be able to build up alliances and, and you know, didn't have to really worry about anything. Everybody's coming home. There's the monkey. Back to help out. What are they going to do now? They're just basically going to have downtime and, and really nothing else. That's a little bit annoying. We're going to forbid the front door as well just in case they are tempted to leave. Wow. Huh. Let's go ahead. Build this through. Knock these walls through so they can actually start working on the uh, on digging out the arena there. So we go ahead and build... Uh, oh, can I not select similar and just mine it out? Okay, a little bit annoying. Let's do that then. They've at least got something to do during this uh, during the end times, if you will. Um, what's Diz Wonty going to do? He's actually got nothing. Um, they can't leave the house. What the fuck can they do? I mean, you can repair. If, if, uh, if you can repair, feel free to repair. If you can... I don't know, is there no, like, downtime? I, I would rather them just have recreation than doing nothing at all here. Um, it's a shame there's not a recreation option, because while they've got nothing else to do, I want them to just be, you know, having fun or something. Um, is there a way to do that? Or am, am I crazy? Maybe we set to just anything? Because clearly they can't work anymore. I guess we'll just do that instead, we'll just set to anything. So if they can work, they can. If not... They will do recreation. A little bit annoying because, you know, it, it does mean that they won't prioritize one over the other necessarily. So if there is work to do, they might just do recreation. And then if there's no work to do, they might still do recreation. A little bit annoying. But it will give them, you know, again, downtime. It will keep their mood high, if nothing else, because they can play billiards together. How much food have we got in storage? That's probably a good question. 11. Shit tons of berries, though, so that's fine. Um, the coolers are working pretty well. Okay, the, the base is built back up. That's nice. And there we go. Look, they're actually having recreation time, relaxing socially, meditating, that type of thing. We'll set everyone to be able to clean if they can. Oh, they can do that anyway. He's gone for a conversation there with the Ever Queen. She's having a shower. This is fine. They're going to have some nice quality bonding time. And we're going to dig out the arena. What a weird place to end it. Thank you for watching. Big shout out to my top tier patrons. Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Lucas Holting, Hey Dog, Croesus, Gabriel Vanders, Josh Lindin, Tesla, Michael Muller, Logan Thorne, Conspired C, James Ogilvy, Escape, and Jackson Woodman. <gasps> wow. That's getting harder and harder to say. And of course, everybody else is back on Patreon as well. Nathaniel Lindborg, Brandon Bintoniak, Necrophilin, Felix Deal, Princess Token of the Dragon, Noble S, Quet Larchley, Zara Even, Facundo Vasquez, Paul Master, Imperator Augustus, Jack Allen, Chancellor Sheaf Palpatine, I'm the Lizard King, Llewellyn Thomas, Euron DeVries, Euphrates, Don Coney 2 and 7, Jordan Campbell, and Asaro. Thank you all for your support, without which these bonus little series like this wouldn't be able to happen. I'm having a lot of fun with this. If you've got any suggestions for any mods or anything you want to see added to the game as well, let me know, because I'm always open to adding some new stuff and changing up the gameplay. We can actually start work on the arena. Like, we've got a full excuse to start work on the arena next time. So, nobody getting away from it.